one of the reasons we're over here is that we recognize the success of your dream and we want to participate in that success. And we think it's very important that the Congress of the United States learn from your success and that we critique in some way some of the weaknesses or failings as it impacts on the United States, but with the full recognition that uh, there's a spirit alive in the world and indeed in the appreciation of the European-American relationship that warrants and forces success. Ici, euh, en Europe, euh, on a quelquefois l'habitude d'aller vite, peut-être trop vite, mais en tout cas de vouloir apporter des, des solutions. Et euh, je crois que dans les mois qui viennent ou les semaines qui viennent, il ne faudra pas attendre trois ans euh, le rapport d'une commission pour euh, savoir ce qu'il faut faire. Le problème pour des conci nos concitoyens se pose tous les jours. La réglementation, ça ne veut pas dire empêcher. Ça ne veut pas dire empêcher de, de pouvoir créer des richesses. Mais on peut empêcher les dérives et notamment les spéculations. Parce que moi, je considère que euh, vous aviez rappelé, je crois que c'est M. Gutiérrez tout à l'heure, que les objectifs de notre mobilisation et notre mobilisation commune, elle est de, de pouvoir protéger nos concitoyens contre la crise, mais également euh, aider tous ceux qui ont tout perdu. Et si on ne réagit pas là-dessus, c'est le terreau à la révolte, mais également à tous les intégrismes. So if we're going to get that free market, that democratic market, we need a transparent market. And the only way we're going to do that is if, if Europe and America, that control 80% of these instruments, sets the course for the future. And just as importantly, supervision. If you do not have policemen watching and monitoring, then don't expect people to necessarily abide by the law. Are we able to change the rules of the game in a way that free markets can do their work, work effectively, but on the other hand, that the correct and right framework, the regulatory framework, can be developed on both sides of the Atlantic. Both sides of the Atlantic are in fear that they lose ground when they come to effective regulation because the other side of the Atlantic would be able to gain profit from regulatory arbitrage. Relations occur internationally, and particularly between the EU and the United States, but in the securities business, this is the time to set the precedence, it is to regulate the derivatives, but we are going to provide a, a, a way of handling that a hell of a lot better than each of us getting individually involved. But, but the essence is that's not going to solve our problem. Bonus, Madam Chairman, what I'm going to do is, I, although I have the other questions, I tend to be verbose.